<laughs> you can also just not use XFS. That's another option. Well, I dropped. I did drop XFS to instead of being default. Now it's the last option. Okay. Uh, what's the default do, now? Is because that... I don't want. ButterFS was the default is ext4. Okay. Right. I'm not gonna put ButterFS as default because I don't know how to use it. I don't understand it, and I don't care for it. <clears throat> but users can uh, can select it as the second choice. <laughs> uh wait, wait so what i why what, did you have it as the default before then you're gonna laugh okay you're gonna have a lot of people co uh weird comments sure uh, okay that's nothing new uh i only did that at first i only did that because nitrix os set it as default <laughs> i was like it's a known distro they set it as default what i can't tie mm-hmm then I discovered real reason why mm -hmm. one should set it as default. Because XFS, when you copy large files, it doesn't cache anything. It just right. does a raw copy. So there's no CPU overhead or memory overhead. So it doesn't use up your memory nor your CPU. Your CPU will be chilling at 10%, huh. 15%. Uh, whereas if you, if you are using ext4, if you are copying large files or a, a large number of small files, your CPU will be uh, uh, used at 70%, 60%, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, 80%. Yeah, I've cloned an entire 2 terabyte drive before. So, I, I, I'm very well aware of this issue. <laughs> hmm. Did he freeze? Did I lose him? I think I lost him. Yeah, I... Oh! He's gone. Did I disappear? You did disappear. Welcome back. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's my iPhone for some reason. It disconnected. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, sure, that's not at all what I expected it to be, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> so where was I? Um, uh... I was saying... So you were saying how uh, EXT4 causes massive yeah. CPUs and you copy a lot of files. Massive CPU usage, especially when you're copying over network as well. It will get your CPU up in the 60s and 70s and 80s yeah. uh, up there. Yeah, and I was, saying with that, XFS, uh, I was saying that I've cloned an entire 2 terabyte drive before and that I've definitely seen that before. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's the reason now I use XFS and I will not move away from it because mm. I copy a lot of large files. Um, movies. <laughs> 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 like you just uh, said that I have definitely <laughs> that I have definitely legally ripped. Mm, um, yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. And uh, no, mostly it's uh, ISOs and uh, a lot of large, uh, a large number of small files, especially repo, mm -hmm. Git, uh, Git repo files uh, that I back up on my NAS. As God knows, if that SSD dies, Zero Linux will go bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have them on GitHub, but I'd like to have another copy on it locally. Right, right. So I do, do I do a lot of copies. So I don't need my CPU to be stuck at the, <laughs> and I, as I call it, pegged. And a lot of people like to joke about pegged, but <laughs> that's the expression we use: pegged at seventy percent. No, that's a normal expression. No, they're just they're just be, they've they've just been on the they're internet just way trolling. too long. They've just need to go outside and touch some grass. They've been on the internet too long. It, yeah. So. Uh, that's why I use XFS. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need the features of ButterFS. Mm -hmm. I don't do snapshots and all that because I am the distro maintainer. I know how to use my distro. I know how to troubleshoot things, even if the system is unbootable. I know how to arch root, get get the system bootable again. Mm -hmm. It's it's part of the mu muscle memory now. Arch root is, it needs to become muscle memory with everyone that uses arch. This is your only rescue. If you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't be using Arch. So, uh, yeah, XFS I is... Uh, use... Read a wiki every time something goes wrong. 